Good afternoon. Um, you know, just first of all, talk a little bit about last, the last game, uh, South Florida. I thought we played our most complete game uh, last week. Had a lot of respect for them coming in. Um, played really well defensively right from the start. Um, really gave up one run and play, um, and that they hit for about 37 yards. Uh, didn't fit that one correctly, but other than that, tackled well, played well, ran to the ball uh, where we were supposed to be, made them one dimensional. And offensively, um, did some really good things. Um, you know, rushed for over 200 yards again. I think our third straight game. Uh, Malik over 100 yards rushing for three straight games. Um, um, very efficient and in, in, in just just in the overall flow of the whole game. Uh, took control early and, and really didn't relinquish any of that. Um, you know, and was you know proud of the way our guys bounced back in that week. I think so. This week, obviously, back back on the road. Um, you know, playing in conference again, which we you know, we need to play well. Um, obviously, for a conference game, um, and then having to go up to Boston, you know, on the road, obviously a, a challenge when you're playing on the road in the ACC. Um, but it comes back to us, I think. I think, you know, focus on what we can control, which is how we prepare. I thought we did a great job of that last week, with um, you know, very intentional in how we prepare. We got to do that again this week. Our guys have to be focused in each and every day um, with the game plan that we're putting in. Um, how to execute it, and then obviously go up there and, and play fast. I think it's it's a 12 o'clock kick again. I thought the guys did a great job with that last week. That was our first 12 o'clock game that we had. Um, it's a big difference when you're thinking 7:30 to 12. Um, you know, having to wake right up. You got an eight o'clock pregame meal. I mean, it's, so it's the same thing that we're going to have to do um, this week on the road. Um, you know, against a Boston College team that that has not done as well as they would have liked so far. Um, I think you know offensively. You know, obviously one of the best players in, the, in, our, in our conference was Zay Flowers. They're going to do everything they can to get the ball to him. He is, he is fast. He can run. He can catch. He runs great routes. Um, I think he's one of the best, you know, receivers in, in, our, in our league. Um, you know, and I think they, they've struggled a little bit um, in, in protection-wise. I think, you know, they're, they're giving up some pressures there. Um, but their quarterback's a, a talented player. He's a big kid. He's got a really good arm. He can throw it. Um, you know, I think um, – just, just the issue of protection, I think, is probably what the one thing that's hurt them the most this year offensively. I think defensively, you turn the film on. There's a lot of guys back from last year. I think they're they're a very, very solid defense. They're where they're supposed to be. They don't get out of position. Um, they they do a really good job running to the football. Um, they're a good tackling team. Um, you know, it, it's a it's it's a good defense. I mean, it really is. And you know, they did lose um, one of their best defensive players, number 11, uh, the defensive end. He's an outstanding player. I remember him from last year. Had a couple of tackles for loss against us last year, um, which I think he's out for the season now. Um, but but really, all the other guys are back, and it's an old defense. A lot of grad you know graduates that are on that defense. So, um, but you know, just another challenge for us to go on the road. We need to get we need to get a conference win. So we're, we're, we need to have a great week of practice and looking forward to that. Um, Ashton Jalot Jalotti missed last week uh, with an injury. Uh, we'll be back this week. Um, He'll be at practice this afternoon. I know, I know we missed him last week. It was kind of a game time decision with him, but he missed a lot of time in practice last week and really didn't feel he was ready to play. Um, so we were able to put him in uh, this week, so he should be back. Um, so that'll give us, you know, some good boost right there. I think Yaya's playing at a high level. I think he's leading the ACC in sacks right now. Um, and Ashton's up there as well um, in, in sacks per game. So I think both of those guys are, are doing a really good job. You know, we, we put in more. More pressure on teams this year, which I think is awesome. Um, trying to trying to knock them off the sticks to create these third and long situations. Our defense has done a much better job with that. Um, we got to continue that as well this week. Scott, uh, how do you keep that sharpness from that you had from last week? And I mean, they were obviously ready to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we had to we, we had to run for our for our mistakes that we had in that game. Um, you know, five penalties that we had there. Um, two of them were late in the game. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you, you can't lose concentration. And I think I think the good news is that you know most of those penalties were were during the play. You know, so that's just playing hard. Now you're going to have some of those type penalties. But I think um, I think we didn't have as many pre snap penalties. That was the key. Um, you know, and I think just, you know, going back to the Florida State game, um, I thought we played extremely hard. We, we didn't fit some of the – we didn't tackle as good as we needed to tackle. And I think that gave up some of those big plays. 
I mean, again, I mentioned it. We had three, we had um, four sacks and ten tackles for loss against those guys. And I think, but that, you know, we lost contained twice to turn into 14 points. I mean, those are things that we got to get better, and, and we did. We got better at that, and so we got to continue to try to continue to get better at that. And it starts in practice throughout the whole week uh, of guys doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and, and really focusing in. I mean, I, to me, it's the biggest thing is just focusing every, each and every play. You can't take a play off. You, one play, I do the wrong thing. All of a sudden, it's a big play, and we don't look, we don't look good. You know, so it, it all fits and, and like a puzzle, and so everybody has to be on point with their assignment. One thing, uh, Scott, that I've noticed, and I'm sure everybody else has, your kicking game, your kickoffs, your, your punts, your punt returns this year, your kickoff return has been maybe about yeah. as – good as I've seen it at Louisville in a long time. Obviously, do you have a d separate coach for that, and mm -hmm. do you obviously put an emphasis on that? Yeah, we really emphasize it big time uh, in, in fall camp, um, or even in the spring and in fall, and then and then obviously throughout the week. We spend a lot of time every, every day working on that. Um, I think it starts with the actual kicking. I think, I think Mark Vassett's um, well ahead of where he was last year as a true freshman, uh, as a punter. Um, he's, he's punting the ball high. He's giving our, our, our guys opportunity to cover and get down the field. Um, and our guys are really – they're flying down the field and they're, and they're throwing at these returners, and they're doing a great job with that. Um, you know, we're kicking the ball in the kickoffs. We're trying to kick it out of the end zone. I mean, and, uh, and we're doing a great job with that. And, um, you know, they're late in the game. We gave, we gave up a return late in the game. I think it was one of the last plays. Um, we had some, some guys that are not normally out there. We played a lot of guys, and so I think that was one of the reasons they got that return. Really pleased with the way the guys are, are covering. And, uh, you know, that's a huge part because um, you're flipping the field, man, and we're, we're you know, we're, we're allowing our, our guys um, to flip that field with those, with those kicks. we got some different things we're doing in the punt team. Um, and then Braden Smith, as a returner, he's fearless. I think, you know, if you look at his stats, they're not great. Um, but he is fielding the ball and not allowing that ball to roll another 10 or 15 yards. Those are some hidden yards right now. Sometimes it doesn't come up in the stat book. You're going to look at it and you're going to say, man, he, got a, he had four carries for zero return yards. Well, he stopped the ball from rolling back. And um, I really appreciate how he's fielding it, how he's doing it. He's fearless. Sometimes he makes me nervous because his guys are all around him. Um, he doesn't like the fair catch very often either, so, um, but I like the aggressiveness that he has. And so, yeah, we're, we're pleased with that. And JT's kicked the ball well, um, you know, the last couple of games. And so, you know, we got to continue that trend. Uh, it's been really, really good to see in the kicking game. Uh, Coach, I'll follow up a little bit on that. I've got a different question, but he asked you who coaches the special teams. Do you? We, we, so the way we do this year, um, last year, you know, we had the one coach. This year, we're splitting it up. Uh, we got a bunch of guys that are that are kind of heading that up, um, and you know Jeff Popovich uh, is a guy who's kind of the leader in the building. Um, but all our coaches, we we've got uh, there's four coaches that are assigned to each special team unit, um, and we're all involved. So it's more of a team effort as a coach now instead of having one guy. We we got a bunch of eyes on it, um, and so a bunch of coaches that are looking at different things throughout the building in the in the kicking game. And I think that's really helped this year. I wanted to ask you about the the running back situation. You've had three different running backs that have been the leading rushers at that position. What are your thoughts on that, on the running backs now and your, mm -hmm. maybe your preference going forward? Well, I mean, really, you know, it, they, it's kind of been <laughs> – some guys hurt one week, some guys healthy one week. I mean, you know, Tyon missed the game. Like Cooley missed the game early. Um, Jay Mitch has been out. Um, you know, Jaws was a little banged up last week. And so it's kind of been by committee, I think. Um, but when what I like this, out of this bunch is – when they're getting their chance and their opportunity, they're making the most of it. You know, we've seen what Cooley's been able to do the last two weeks. He really ran hard again. You know, we looked at the Florida State game. He had four big catches. He had two touchdowns. Um, you know, Tyon came back and ran hard this past game. Uh, Jordan, to me, is an explosive back that's just really gotten some big-time plays. So, um, I, I love the competition and the effort that the guys have been able to, to, to create, and I, and I think we'll continue that on, you know. I, yeah, we tell them, we'll tell them today. I mean, it's, it's an open competition. I mean, it's, it's whoever, whoever's going to be practicing the best. And that's why I love it in practice, because they're getting really great reps at it. They don't have time to take a playoff. And then you come into the game, it, it's more of a feel thing. We're kind of seeing, you know, who's seeing it, who's feeling it. Um, and then also, we want to keep them fresh. And so we are going to rotate. Um, uh, it depends on how the flow of the game is going. So, but I'm very pleased with the way all, all the guys have played so far in, in that red room. We got to take care of the ball better. You know, we've put the ball on the ground um, last week, the Florida State week. We got, we got to do a better job taking care of the football. But other than that, I think that group's done a really nice job. Scott, uh, going back to the penalties bit, heading into that US, at USF game, you guys were averaging 10 a game. But then 
go into the USF game, commit five, and only three of them were outside of garbage time. What was it you did as the week went on to kind of improve in that area, and how do you kind of focus in on that to make sure this isn't just a one-time thing? In what area? I'm sorry. What, what area are you how talking you, about? How do you continue to make sure you guys stay disciplined and don't commit as mm -hmm. many penalties? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, it's something we've talked about and focusing on. We're trying, you know, trying to stay disciplined. And, you know, again, the, to me, it's the, the pre-snap penalties is what drive me crazy, where it doesn't take any talent. You know, it's just focus and concentration. Did a much better job with that. Disappointed um, in the one defensive penalty on fourth down that we got, and you gave them an extra five yards. That, again, that's focus. That's discipline. Um, that's what we're really kind of focusing on. The, the ones that happen after the play, man, we're playing hard sometimes. You're going to get that. Like Dorian Jones gets called at the end of the game for a late hit out of bounds, and it's it's really, really close. I mean, the guy's right on the sideline. I, I can't hardly fault a guy for that because we're playing hard. And, you know, but the pre stop penalty, we're going to continue to focus on it. We have, you know, things that we're doing at practice that we talked about. Hey, you know, you're going to go get your 10 up downs right now. If you have that penalty, we're going to run after practice just to try to keep them focused in to, to know what we have to do because it, it's, so, it's so huge and critical in games. And we've seen how much it it it, it help it hurts us when when we do those uh, those things. So we just keep harping on it, and um, you know hopefully we'll continue to learn that we, that we're going to be a better team if we we don't have those penalties. We, t we talked a lot after the game <clears throat> about the number of people that you played. How do you manage the young guys? And in, in knowing that you got four games and some yeah. of them, you know, like Turner and Popeye played, you know, some mm -hmm. snaps. How do you manage those guys moving forward? Well, I, I think you know either. either some of those guys will try to increase their role and, and let them do more for us. Like Maurice Turner, I think he's a really good football player. He's on a lot of our special teams. Now let's find other ways that he can help us. Um, you know, and I think, you know, if it's a guy who we see may not – maybe not be still down the line a little bit, we're going to we'll be, you know, really cautious about playing him, only just a few snaps because, you know, you do – you get those four games. So um, I think it's week by week and, and individual case basis um, to see – where they can really help us. Um, you know, like Chris Bells, for example, who really came out. We saw what, you know, he got that one nice catch and took off down the sideline. He's a he's a monster out there at wide out and can really run. So hopefully, like a guy like that will increase his role a little bit more this week, get him some more opportunities, some more opportunities to catch the football. Because I think a guy like him, I think he's going to get better and better every week. Um, so I do think it's individually, you know, on a case-by-case -case basis to see where we're at with those guys. The other thing to think about is, and we told the guys Sunday in, in our meeting is that, you know, when you get in this point in the season, we're game four, we're getting ready to hit game five, and, and the injuries start to, to creep in, more and more guys are going to have to have roles on special teams. And we, we've seen it every year. And so some of those guys will start to increase that role with that. And then, and therefore, it also increases their role on offense or defense. So I think as we see how the season goes forward, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what we need to do. Scott, you guys are obviously running the ball really well, popping some big runs. How would you evaluate your passing game up to this point? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think we, we've gotten um, we've gotten a lot of production out of our offense as, as we sit here after after four weeks. You know, you always look at it. We're we're 450 yards a game right now. We've played some some good teams. We feel like um, we're about as balanced as you can be. 225 to 225. Um, you know, in run and pass. Um, you know, and I think we've also increased our scoring from each each week. You know, we, we've gotten more and more points as we as we move forward. We're getting – you're kind of settling in as an offense to see where we're at. We would like to hit a few more throws down the field. Um, we'll, we'll keep working at it. We'll keep trying to find ways. Obviously, the bottom line is to move the ball and, and get and score points. And, you know, we, we just started out, in, you know, early in the season just not doing as well scoring points. And I think, you know, we, the last two weeks we've done a much better job with it. We're, we're more disciplined on our offense. We're – we're allowing our offense to go faster. We, you know, if you notice the tempo, the last few games have been a lot quicker on offense, and we're, we've been able to get more plays. Um, I think last week in the fir first half, we had 18 first downs in the first half, and Florida State, we had 17. I mean, that's a lot of first downs in one half, and, and I think we're putting pressure on the defense that way. Um, but again, we're going to take what the defense gives us, and if we can run it, we'll run it. If, if they're going to give us a throw, we'll try to take that as well. You know, but last week there were a couple of times we had some guys there. We'd love to be able to complete those balls. We just got to keep working at it. And, and Malik has done, you know, he's, he's broken off some big runs, obviously, this year. How much would, would the threat of him doing that opens things up for your tailbacks? Yeah, I mean, it's got to. I mean, you know, as a, as a, as a defense, they're looking to defend us. They're having to defend 11 guys, not just 10. It's 11 guys to where they got to account for Malik. Um, and, and it should open up some holes. It should open up some of the throw game. It should open up some more run game for the for the running backs. 
um, you know, we, we like that, that, you know, for our offense. So we're going to continue to do that. You know, again, the first game was, was on me. We did not do a, a very good job with, with Malik in, in, the, in his run game. But it, since then, we have. And we've been much better offense. We've moved the ball. We've scored more points. And we've put more pressure on the defense. And that's just what we got to continue to do. Um, and hopefully, we'll get, you know, get these receivers more involved in, in the throw game and, and, and continue to make some big plays in that. I guess along that line with, with the receivers, what kind of progress have you seen with them in terms of trying to get separation and, and you know, create options for, mm -hmm. for Malik? And I guess the second question about penalties, what is your balance between holding guys accountable and avoiding calling them out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, when you get penalties, um, you, 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 sometimes you need to get called out. You know, if it's if it's the same ones that are continuing to do this, do the same penalties, you know, and so um, but, you know, if you ask them, they're going to tell you the same thing, too. So, I mean, you know, I don't I don't think it's uh, necessarily a, a thing that's going to be negative. You got to listen, you got to own up to it. I mean, um, if it's something that we're doing as coaches, then we'll get it. We'll, we'll own up to it. We'll get it fixed. And if something as an individual player is doing, then then they got to get it fixed. You know, so it's but it's it goes hand in hand. It's all of us. Um, we're all in that in that thing together. But, uh, you know, as far as the. You know, receivers go. We're trying. We try to find ways that we look at the game plan to, to free them up and to get them open. Um, obviously, it's the quarterback's job when they are open to hit them. Um, you know, the line's got to do a great job of protection. So it's all those things. I do think um, our guys have done a decent job of getting open. I think you know, at times we we got to do better if we can. But uh, we had a few more Saturday. We we, we got out there. We just got to be able to make a throw and catch. Um, and, you know, and I think just continue to practice, continue to look at, looking at it and find ways to get some of these playmakers in space. I think uh, Mari Hug and Bruce was a guy who we like we like to be able to get free. Uh, we had him free a few times Saturday and because um, I do think he's a big play receiver. He's one of our more, more expo explosive guys. Um, T. Hud is a big catch radius guy um, where we feel comfortable throwing to. And, um, you know, Braden Smith's working on their knees. Ford's another guy who's a great target. So we just got to continue to build those guys out. And we like, and we've been very successful throwing to the backs this year as well, coming out of the backfield. We got to continue to do that too. Just got, I just you mentioned Braden. He had a court case today, stemming from the assault charge from a few months back. Um, just, I guess, at that time, he's obviously suspended indefinitely. Brought it back. Just curious, what went into the decision making process to bring him back? And just want to get your comments on that. Yeah. situation right now. Yeah, it was something we handled this past uh, spring summer um, in house with him, and 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 did some things, uh, suspensions, and some other things. And we're always going to take any allegation serious and and look at each each case individually. That's what we did with Braden, and we you know we felt it was time he was able to come back and play. And um, and uh, you know I, you know court date I guess was today, so we'll see you know what happened with that. But um, but yeah, we handled that in house and um, and was able to bring him back right you know right during camp. Scott, you mentioned the uh, their defense is a, a Boston College. A lot of veteran guys. Last year, they had four takeaways against you guys. What what yeah. will be key this weekend? You know, same thing. Taking care of the football offensively. Um, you know, in with the kick. I, I think that's the key. Um, I, I can go. We can go back last year. You can go back the year before that when we went up there. We turned the ball over. Um, Tutu had a fumble. I remember Hassan Hall had a fumble on on a, on a nice run. I mean, um, we threw a pick at the end of the game. I mean, so. We got to do a much better job taking care of the ball. The thing that Boston College, they, what they do defensively, is keep that umbrella, they keep it all in front of you, and then they run to the football. And I feel like for us, um, you know, last year um, we had a couple of fumbles, we had an interception. Um, if we do a great job of just, you know, having a kick at the end of it, we'll be able to move the football. Last year, I think we rushed for over 300 yards on them, did not throw the ball great against them, um, but but being patient, I think offensively, um, you know. There's a fine line going fast, and be, but being patient within the plays that we're running, and then um, you know, and then defensively, we got to continue to play like we did last week. We got to keep keep doing that, and I think that will help our offense as well. The thing that we did great last week was we played off of each other, which we haven't done this year, where you know the, the offense is feeding off the defense and vice versa, um, and, and the kicking game too. So, so just that feeding off each other, we got to be able to do because you're going on the road. We're gonna we're gonna need to be able to play as a team and a unit like we did last week. All right, thanks.